What's up everyone and welcome back for more Ocarina of Time. In the last episode I ended up with getting the fairy slingshot, so let's see if my aim is still right and Yeah, it's still right. Now before you go there is a chest up here and make sure you get it now because it is a really long backtrack the moment you find it through the compass. Even though it has a useless recovery art. But that's okay. I like backflipping for like no reason. I don't know, I mean, it actually makes you jump over gates and stuff. So, I'm gonna go over here. And now that I actually got my slingshot, I can aim. Oh, that's a miss. Oh, I missed. And three. That's better. We'll drop all sorts of stuff. Two rupees in a deku, uh. Seed? No, wait, that's um, that's a Deku nut. Seeds are the uh, ammunition for your fairy slingshot. I forgot that. So, at the top here, and I believe the right route is quicker. Maybe I believe wrong, but... Let's see. Well, yeah, it's a little bit quicker, but the difference is small. Okay, so we're in here. So we're gonna go stand on here. So these platforms rise. So we can cross over to the big chest. Containing, what could it be? We already got a weapon. And a map. So we get the compass. By having the compass you can see your current location as you look into the bottom right corner of the screen. You can see where you entered and you can see where chests are. And don't be so hyperactive, please, thank you. Now I'm gonna try to snipe this one out of air. No, wait, it doesn't work. I'll just do it like this. Come down, please. And bye bye. And I got Deku Seeds, which is the ammo for my slingshot. And you can die as well, thank you. Now let's do this again. Go over here. Now get the chest, and what's really important, not this harp, but what's behind it. This is a gold sculpture line, and you need 100 of these. They're spread all over Hyrule, both in young and in future form. And in order to clear this game 100%, you need to kill and collect its token from every single 100. So, I'll do it like that. So, we were to destroy the gold sculpture line, and we got a token for that. One out of one hundred, yeah. It's gonna take a while, some are really, really tricky headed. But yeah, that makes it challenging. So in order to escape from this room, light your torch, and light this torch. Wait, light your stick, and light the torch. That's what I meant. Now you need to get rid of this huge ugly spider like that. Now as you can see, it's quite a fall down there, but what you need to do is land on the web. Which is... In here? Yeah, and I made it. Yeah! Okay. Now we're at the bottom room. And we kill this. Get a stick. And up here, as you can see, is the gold skull to number 2, and over there is number 3. But I'm gonna get this one. For wow, that seemed like I always jumped through the wall. But anyways, I got the gold sculpture token. I fall in the water. And this one seems a little tricky to reach, but it's pretty okay. Just one, two, and like this. And we got our three sculpture tokens. Which means for now we completed the Deco Tree one hundred percent. We just need to finish it. There will be another fort. Gold sculpture, but you need to boomerang for it, which we won't get in a while. So I'm gonna skip that, of course. Oh, wait. Over there is a spider web, and I need to burn it. So I need to get this. Walk over. And be like, burn, baby, burn, and it's gone. Now we can go on. Now it's another one of these. And just walk to it. Please forgive me, master. I'll never do it again. If you spare me, I'll teach you something cool. 
You will never beat my brothers up ahead unless you punish them in the proper order. The order is 2, 3, 1. 23 is number 1. Do you think I'm a traitor? Yeah, you are a traitor. You're betraying your friends. So let's fire a CGI. Door opens and we can go on. But seriously, that dude was a backstabber. I don't like that. <sighs> Navi, did I ask you to give me advice? No, so stay out of it. I have a really huge grudge against Navi. I think she's annoying and she shouldn't be added in Ocarina of Time. It's the only downside this game has. Except that it should have been larger. But yeah, that's an easy demand. Can I make this? Can I make this? Can I make this? No, I can't. But no worries. Still no worries. And I should be fine now. Yep. Now I'll jump over. Get rid of this. <sighs> You're getting me tired already. Seriously, stop it. I didn't ask you for advice. So don't give me advice, please. Thank you very much. Yeah, I'll do that. Just leave me alone. So as you can hear, the music is now rising again. You got a lot of time. So let's go up here. Let's go up here. And go in here. Well, this room is really easy. Ow. Bye bye. Now you need to do like this. One. Two. Three. Door opens, and I can go on. Now the thing with this room is, is not only that you can fire this dude, but you need to crack these eggs up here with one. That's a miss, that's a shot, and that's a shot. I missed once. Oh, I missed. Yeah, you're gonna hear that for a while. Well, I will unlock this wall, but this wall requires a bomb to open it, which isn't here. And you also need a boomerang to get whatever is in there, which is the God's Kotala. So I'm not even gonna bother. It's a waste of my time. So let's crack this web thingy. And let's crawl below this thing and go out here. Now we're actually in the room where we started from the fall through, except one difference. This one dies. Well, that's not the only difference. Okay. Now what you need to do is drop this block. Like this. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve pushes. Now you can go over here, and now you need to be a little bit quick. Go over here, up here, and roll here. And you will fall down. Which isn't really that much of a deal. Now here we got those three brothers over there. And we need to defeat them, so it's... 23? Oh, I missed. Oh, I missed. 23, now this one, and don't, you get back here, thank you. How did you know a secret? How irritating. It's so annoying that I'm going to reveal the secret of Queen Goma to you. Okay. In order to administer the Coup de Grace to Queen Goma, strike with your sword while she's stunned. Oh Queenie, sorry about that. And he goes off, and the other two disappear. So as you can see at the map at the bottom right corner, this is the skull, meaning that we're going to go to the final boss of this dungeon, which is Queen Goma, as we just heard. Now I can see something up there, it looks like a spider, can I hit that thing already? Well, that would be nice. So let's just go in here. It's some sort of mist in here, wow. And we're trapped. And it's getting dark. And what the fuck is that? Uh? 
Bleh, ugh, jeez. Goma is a parasite, sort of spider, actually. Uh, wh what you need to do here is here is and spam. Yeah, I'll explain what I did there. I got my fairy slingshot out. I shot the seed in his eye. He fell down, or she. It's actually she. Sorry. And then I throw. No. Whenever she goes up and her eye turns red, like that, fire a seed in her eye. And. One. And we're done. Yeah. I just made Queen Goma my bitch in a minute or something. <laughs> yeah, I think a minute or something. Oh, wait, I said that. Darn my fail. So, anyway, Queen Goma gets reduced to, um. Dust, and whenever you defeat a boss, you get a full heart container. Meaning, if you look at the top left corner, we got an extra heart. And let's go in here now. Because we completed the decoratory. And therefore, we got already a heart container and three Scotchilla tokens. And now we're gonna get the final reward here. Well done, Particle. Thank you. <coughs> that was fairly demonstrated thy courage. I knew that Tobo would be able to carry out my wishes. Now, I have yet more, I tell you. What's that listening? You can say no here, but he'll probably ask you to do it again, so you're probably stuck here until you press yes. So, alright. Now, listen carefully. A wicked man of the desert cast a dreadful curse upon me. Gee, I wonder what that would be. And there he goes, mighty Ganondor from his black horse. Through the fire and the lightning. Some sort of hell. This evil man seasonally uses his vile sorcerer's powers in his search for the sacred realm that is connected to Hyrule. For it is in that sacred realm that one will find the divine relic, the Triforce, which contains the essence of the gods. Before time began, before spirits of life existed, three golden goddesses descended upon the chaos that was Hyrule. Three of them, indeed. Din, the goddess of power. Nairu, the goddess of wisdom. And Farore, the goddess of courage. So we start off with Din. Din's fire. Which you will get later. But that's gonna be in a few episodes. Then, with her strong flaming arms, she cultivated the land and created the earth. The red earth, that is. There goes Nairu. Poured wisdom onto the earth and gave the spirit of law to the world. Farore, with a rich soul, produced all life forms who would uphold the law. And the tree gods ascend and form to combine. The three great goddesses, their labors completed, departed for the heavens. And golden, sacred triangles remained at the point where the goddesses left the world. Since then, the sacred triangles has become the basic of our world's province. And the resting place of the triangles has become the sacred realm. He who touches the Triforce will have whatever he wishes granted. As is written. Somewhere. <laughs> That was never allowed the desert man in black armor to lay his hands on the sacred Triforce. That was never suffered that man, with his evil heart, to enter the sacred realm of legend. That evil man will cast a death curse upon me and set my power. Because of that curse, my end is nigh. Though your valiant efforts to break the curse were successful, I was doomed before you started. Yes, I will pass away soon, but do not grieve for me. I have been able to tell you of these important matters. This is Hyrule's final hope. So we got 
Harvest Final Hope, huh? Anyways, time to cut it off. Next time we're gonna see what we gotta do for the tree. So, thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, sub, and I'll see you guys then. Take care, y'all.